Now, let's give each other a chance. It's time to put away the harsh rhetoric, lower the temperature, see each other again, listen to each other again. And to make progress, we have to stop treating our opponents as our enemies. They are not our enemies. They are Americans. The Bible tells us to everything there is a season, a time to build, a time to reap, and a time to sow, and a time to heal. This is the time to heal in America. after AOC, fresh off her many victories on election day, tweeted, quote, is anyone arching, is anyone archiving these Trump sycophants from when they try to downplay or deny their complicity in the future? I foresee decent probability of many deleted tweets, writings, photos in the future. Hmm, that's not ominous at all. And just like that, immediately something called the Trump Accountability Project popped up, run by a guy named Hari Savugan. Now, Hari has the perfect bio. He's the former national press secretary for the DNC, former senior spokesperson for the Obama campaign, and former top aide to Pete Buttigieg. Immediately, Savugan began not only publicizing his list of people who ever worked for Trump, but he started menacingly tweeting about how he and his organization, and presumably now his progressive and liberal media apparatus, will target any business that ends up hiring these people.